Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for viewing today. I'm going to be sharing with you some easy tips and tricks that you may not heard of of how to achieve beautiful glowing skin and soft and shiny hair using only natural ingredients. Now, some of these I use on a day-to-day -day basis and some of them I use on a weekly basis. So if you're ready, let's jump right into it. One of my favorite beauty items is a green tea toner. It is filled with antioxidants and it's an anti-inflammatory. To begin, I grab one of my Bigelow green tea bags and place it inside of a mug and let that steep for about 15 to 20 minutes with boiling water. I then let it cool for about two to three hours. And once it's at room temperature, I pour the tea inside of a small spritz bottle. I am then able to spray it on my face. I love how it's all natural and the tea leaves my face feeling incredibly soft and it reduces a lot of the redness in my cheeks. Another natural beauty hack that I absolutely love is a honey and cocoa lip moisturizer. Honey is natural antibacterial and is extremely moisturizing and soothing. To begin, you add a teaspoon of cocoa into a bowl and add a small amount of honey. You try to like mix that around and if you think you need a little bit more honey, add it right in. You want to be able to have the consistency to be able to glide like lip gloss. Then apply a small amount and allow it to glide right along your lips. Cocoa is also a natural ingredient that your skin can thrive from. It is rich in antioxidants, it lessens redness, and it helps nourish the skin by boosting elasticity, making your skin absolutely glow. I cannot tell you how much I love bentonite clay. It is so natural for your skin. You can put it on your skin or you can even eat it, but I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> it helps clean deep inside of your pores. It contains calcium, magnesium, silica, sodium, and potassium. It's a great detox and it also delivers a lot of the nutrients to your skin. A little bit of this goes a long way. So add a little bit inside of a bowl and then add a little bit of water and slowly mix it. You want the consistency to glide smoothly along your skin. You can use the bentonite clay as a mask or a deep clean. So allow it to sit there for at least one to two minutes and rinse off. Easy peasy. Everybody asks where I get such soft skin. I love using a natural body oil. It really helps aid in dry skin and adds a naturally glowy shine. I'm using castor oil in this video, but you can also use grapeseed, sunflower, jojoba, coconut, or avocado oil. Those are all great oils for your skin. I add one teaspoon of oil and one teaspoon of vegetable glycerin with a couple drops of essential oil. Glycerin absorbs water from the air and helps lock moisture into your skin, so it's very beneficial. Glide the oil mixture onto your skin like you would a lotion. Allow it to sit in your skin and do not rinse off to achieve maximum results. Last but certainly not least is an oil hair treatment. I'm using castor oil and rosemary essential oil in this tutorial. Castor oil not only helps aid in skin care but also adds moisture to the scalp and eases dandruff. Rosemary essential oil is common to help aid in hair growth and help an itchy scalp. Since it is winter, my scalp gets pretty itchy, so this has been helping me a ton. I pour a decent amount into a bowl and kind of estimate it as if like when I'm going to shampoo my hair. Then I add in just a few drops of the rosemary essential oil. You do not need a whole lot. Then I lather it all over my hair and I kind of part my hair into sections. I have fine hair, so when I part it into, into sections, it helps me get every strand and to not get tangles. While I allow the oil to sit in my hair, I give myself some TLC and do a quick scalp massage. The massage on the scalp helps enhance blood circulation, promotes new hair growth, and while you're massaging the oil, it is definitely benefiting while doing some deep conditioning. After I massage, I let it, the oil to continue to sit in my hair for about an hour or two. During that time, I do some cleaning, I do some laundry, watch some TV, jump into the shower, and shampoo it out. I really hope that some of these beauty tips and tricks help you. If you do like these types of videos, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.